Hello friends. So in the previous session, we have just started with the introduction and how the course flow of the AC machinery fundamentals that we are going to cover. So today is going to be the uh, first uh, lecture session where we are going to cover some simple concepts. All right. So today, let us start with a simple loop in a uniform magnetic field. You already know from the DC machines that uh, <coughs> the best example or the simplest example for uh, generating alternating voltage uh, is a simple uh, loop of wire through a uniform magnetic field but however <coughs> in case of ac machines uh, this is not entirely accurate because here we are assuming the field to be constant right it is a constant field which is existing there and you are rotating a, a loop of wire through that but in ac machines neither is uh, this value constant nor it is stationary okay so that we will find out when we deal with rotating magnetic fields but however the advantage here is that the em the equations that we derive about the uh, induced voltage and torque etc hold holds good it's just some <coughs> constructional features that we have to add extra so let's start with this particular session we will we'll derive a simple equation right so this is the coil we have seen it a lot of times in dc machines all right <coughs> so if you see it from this angle here this particular coil what you are going to see you are going to see something like this right you are going to see this conductor here a b and you are going to see con this conductor here which is c d okay and if it is rotating in this particular direction like this the velocity vectors we have already discussed it would be something like this all right so now we are just uh, going little bit behind in time so that we get an angle in between them so that is this particular diagram so let us uh, take this instant in times where this is a little bit tilted now okay so i have drawn a neat diagram here okay so now let us uh, mark some angles first of all okay so this is the direction of b from north to south so this angle let us call it as theta ab okay and uh, <coughs> this particular angle okay between the field and the cd vector this is angle cd okay so you need not confuse, uh, get confused here. We will be drawing individual segments. All right. So this is the construction of the coil. All right. So it has a length L and it has a distance from the center. You can call it, it's not the entire width. It is half of the width, which is the length R. Okay. So this is basically the construction of the coil. And let us start developing an equation for the total EMF, E total, which is got across this coil. Okay. So let us start with segment AB. So we will start with segment AB and the equation that we are going to use is E induced is equal to V cross B. Remember we used this to find the direction, right? Here we have to add another term dot L. Okay, This is the EMF which is uh, obtained out of field theory for a conductor. Anyway, it is the V cross B dot L. All right. So let us <coughs> and the direction of L is the direction in which you are moving. All right. So if you are going from A to B, so direction of L will be like this. If you are coming from C to D, the direction of L will be like this. So it's not a uh, confusing statement here. So let's take the first segment AB here. So in the first segment AB, let us take the first segment AB here like this. Okay. So V, we can see that it is having a direction like this. See, this is the VAB, right? So this is VAB. Okay. And what is the direction of B? It is like this B and this angle is theta AB. Okay, so V cross B. Okay, V if I cross with B like this, so what will I get? I get a clockwise movement, and that means it is a into the paper. Okay, now this particular direction, which is into the paper like this. Okay, look at here, it is into the paper, and L is also having the some same direction, right? L is also having the same direction. So here E is equal to V cross B dot l right so dot means a cos theta component is going to come okay so you know that uh, sine cos if i put 0 and 90 degree this is 0 this is 1 this is 1 and this is 0 so for segment a b the l uh, vector and the v cross b vector are in the same direction see they are in the same direction right so this would be equal to this angle will be cos 0 uh, v b l and uh, cos 0 therefore <coughs> here you will get blv sin theta ab now the sin theta is coming due to this v cross b all right now let's find the emf induced for the segment 
first half of the segment BC. So BC you can divide into two right here. So BC you can divide into two. So let us find it for this particular segment. Okay. So let us find for the first half of the segment BC. Okay. So here, so you can clearly see because it is going into a counterclockwise direction. We are rotating it in a counterclockwise direction. So V will be in this particular direction. So this would be the direction of V and this is the direction of B. Okay. So V cross B will be into the page. V cross B will be into the page that I have to have a dot product with the L. Okay. Now what is the L direction? The L is from like this only. L is in the same, <coughs> L is in the direction of the plane of this paper. Okay. So it is in this direction. So uh, L has a direction like this. And this has a into the page direction. That means the angle between these will be 90 degree. Okay. So a 90 degree means the cost component will be zero. That means E is equal to V cross B dot L for the BC segment will be equal to zero. That means there is no EMF induced in this segment. And the third part is the second half of the segment BC. That means this particular component here. Okay. Now here. You can see that it is going to have a downward direction, right? It is going to have a downward direction. So V will be like this there and B of course will be like this. So V cross B will be having a counterclockwise direction and counterclockwise if you move a screw, it will come outside, right? So this is the direction of V cross B that you have to dot with L and L direction is the same direction like this. You are moving from B to C, right? So L will have the same direction. These both are having a 90 degree because this is coming out of the page and this is inside in the plane of the page. Okay. So it's like this. So like this is coming towards you like this. It's coming towards you and this is the direction of L. Right. So this angle is 90 degree. So this also because 90 degree means the cost component will be zero. So here also E will be equal to V cross B dot L will be equal to zero because the cost 90 equal to zero here. Okay, cost 90 equal to 0. Now we have to take the final segment which is CD. Okay, CD is here. Uh, that is the most, Im that is an important segment also. So the segment CD, let us take the segment CD now. Okay, so what was the velocity direction here? Sorry. Yeah, so the velocity of CD is in this direction and the B is in this direction. Okay, so if you take V, this is theta CD. So V cross B means it will be a counterclockwise direction. So V cross B is going to be outward. So that you have to dot with the value of L. Okay. And what is the direction of L here? So it is the same direction as you are moving. So same uh, outward direction. So the angle between these two components are zero cos zero equal to one. That means this value V cross B dot L will be equal to B L V sin theta of CD. Okay. And that means let us mark some polarities now. Okay. So this is into the paper, right? So let us take call that uh, this voltage because it is having a this particular direction into the paper. We can call that voltage as EBA like a generator, right? It's coming out. Power is coming out of here. And here uh, we can call it as EDC. Okay. We can call it as EDC. That means the total voltage E total will be equal to E B A plus E B C plus E D C. Okay. And this is already you have found the value to be equal to zero. And this is B L V sine theta of A B. And this is B L V sine theta of C D. Okay. Now we are having two angles here, right? Theta AB and Theta CD. Now if you look at these two angles here, so this is V and B and this is Theta AB. You can see that you can use a simple trigonometric identity to find that the Theta AB is nothing but 180 minus Theta CD. Okay. And you know that the sine Theta of see sine 180 minus Theta is nothing but equal to sine Theta. That means sine theta AB will be nothing but sine theta CD. That means these two values will be same. So E total will be equal to 2 BLV sine theta. Okay. So if you draw a graph for this, okay, what will you get? You will get a sine wave. 
ओके सो दिस इज थीटा तो जीरो पाई बाई टू पाई थ्री पाई बाई टू एंड टू पाई सो द ई एम एफ इंड्यूस्ड विल बी हैविंग दिस पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू नो देर इज अनदर वे टू डिराइव द सेम एक्सप्रेशन ऑल राइट सो लेट एस सी वॉट इज द अनदर वे टू डिराइव द सेम एक्सप्रेशन विच विल ब्रिंग अस क्लोजर to the equation that we like for ac machine now you know that in a real machine the machine is going to rotate at a speed omega right that means this theta the angular displacement will be nothing but the speed angular speed multiplied by the time and also you can relate that v will be equal to r omega and that is why you see the definition of r was from half of the distance all right so v is equal to r omega and theta is equal to omega t so e total or the e induced will be equal to 2 bl into r omega into sin omega t all right now you take the coil here okay this was l this length was l okay and this distance was r okay so what is the area of the coil the area of the coil will be equal to 2 into r 2 r into l right so 2r into l so you can clearly see here you are having a 2r and l so i can combine that two to bring the area of the coil so this will be equal to b into a okay into omega into sin omega t okay so e total will be equal to b into a into omega into sin omega t okay now uh, you know that this when the north and south is like this this is the position where you are having the maximum flux which is cutting the coil okay now what is the value of that maximum flux that maximum value of flux will be equal to b into a because here the entire area is getting exposed to the uh, flux density so here will be the area where you are having the maximum flux therefore i can define something as phi max is equal to b into a that means e induced i'm just replacing e total by e induced will be equal to phi max into omega into sin omega t now why this expression is important is because it tells us basically three things okay so first one is that the emf induced in a machine okay it depends upon the flux inside the machine flux inside the machine which is represented by this phi max second it it depends upon the speed of rotation it depends upon the speed of rotation which is omega okay and third thing it actually depends upon the construction of the machine constructional features of the machine which means that number of loops turns conductors etc now that has not come into this expression because we use the single loop generator but when we actually derive for the ac machine after some time uh, maybe after discussing about the uh, armature flux distribution uh, that time we can see what is the actual expression but this expression is good enough to just get into the basic concepts of ac machine so i hope you have understood today's session uh please <laughs> excuse me for the voice i have told you a little bit of throat problem is still there so if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you